friends, my name is Renee. I'm the director of The Giving Plate and welcome to our second volunteer connection video. This video is gonna answer the question, change? What change? So I know for some of you who are newer to us, this video series may come as a surprise because you just found us, you love partnering with us in our mission of feeding our neighbors in need with compassion and hospitality, and you had no idea change was on the horizon. So my heart with this video is to catch you up to speed to where we're at today so that you're ready and positioned with us for what's to come and that these future videos make a lot more sense about where we're headed. So August 2021, we were fortunate to be able to purchase a building on First Street. It's 11,000 square feet and within a year, an angel donor paid the building off for us. So humbling and incredible to have that gift of a building we own free and clear. We then launched in our capital campaign to raise three and a half million dollars to renovate this building, to create a one-stop shop where we could bring all of our food and programs under one roof, as well as open the long-awaited community store where our guests could come in and have a dignified shopping experience as long as as well as creating a space for kids to come in and have their own shopping experience in Kids Corner. But as we began to walk that out and partner with our contractors, architects, and starting to work with the city of Bend around permits, it became increasingly apparent that this building might not be best suited for this one-stop shop. In the meantime, our programs were growing. The demand for our services was growing beyond what I thought we would be encountering. And so it was a great time to put a pause and take some time to say, hey, what does this look like? Now let's look in and reimagine the use of this building and how it will position the giving plate, not just for the now, but for the future. And I'm really excited for the future because we're in a great place to help our community and grow with our community and the need. And so there was purpose in the pause of having to have this go much longer than we wanted it to because now we're positioned securely for the long term for our community. So this building, instead of a one-stop shop, it's going to be used as what we're calling our distribution center. This will essentially be where we warehouse and receive all of our food. We're separating the receiving and food drive locations from serving the community. Right now, all of that flows in and out of one space, pretty much, and we have our second warehouse, but it's all coming and going at the same time. We will be streamlining that and separating that. So receiving will be in the distribution center, we'll warehouse there, we'll have office space, classroom space, multi-purpose space. It will give us room to grow. Then early this year in 2023, we finally found a space for a community store. And it is just south of where we're currently located across from Fred Myers in Reed Plaza, which is where Dollar Store and Starbucks is. In the corner of that plaza is a sign that says Excel. And that will very soon in the new year become where we serve our community. That will be a market setting. Our guests will come in. There'll be a waiting area with coffee and pastries, and they will get to do their own shopping. We will still offer um, advanced orders, is what we're going to be calling them, uh, but I will get into all of that on another video. For now, I just want you to know the future model of how we serve our community is changing. We'll have two new locations in 2024. So stay tuned and keep watching for updates on volunteering roles and how those will adjust and what the new programs will look like. We appreciate you guys. We truly are better together. Take care.